My tonsils are two kids at the middle school dance. Usher's yeah has just come on. And they're bumping and grinding up against each other. And it's really awkward, but they're having a good time. And the math teacher keeps coming in between them with a red cup, asking them to leave room for Jesus, but nothing is stopping this love. The math teacher, I mean the nurse, doesn't think my description is funny. <laughs> Strep throat is serious, she says. It can lead to cardiac arrest if you keep getting it. So maybe my tonsils are in an older and more serious relationship. <laughs> the kind where you don't tell anyone that things are wrong because it's the only way you've known love and your own mouth. She asks me how long they've been like this. I say, I don't know, always. Which is something I told my boyfriend. As in how long I would love him for. She asks me on a scale of one to 10 how much it hurts. I say, I don't know. I stopped feeling things a long time ago, something I told my boyfriend eventually too. She says, I'm not here to talk to you about your love life. You just really need surgery. I tell her I don't have the time to plan for that kind of surgery. She says, there's never really a right time. You just have to do it, which is what I thought on the coldest days when he was the warmest thing around. And I can't keep denying how sick my tonsils are making me. I can't keep waking up in the middle of the night gasping for air. So the surgery is quick, but the recovery time is the worst because the older we get, the harder time we have, the harder time our bodies have of letting things things go. Tonsils are a vestigial organ meant from preventing disease from entering the body. And we never noticed how sick we made each other in the winter. Our pillows covered in germs that meant really well. And for a week, my throat is covered in scabs I have to learn how to swallow. For a week, I throw up all of the painkillers. I send pictures to my friends of all of the progress. Sometimes the body wants you to feel everything and then show it off. And I keep trying to find things that best match my heart. Underwear on the floor. Stoplight stuck on yellow. Violinist in Harvard Square with light up sneakers covering ushers, you've got it bad. But maybe I've been thinking of the wrong organ. Maybe love is a vestigial organ, something we should have grown out of a long time ago, something we all have anyway, something that makes us gasp for air in the middle of the night, something that always hurts us on the way out.